congratulations. I appreciate it very much. Uh, it was, you know, the, the objective was to win, no question mm -hmm. asked. And I think mm -hmm. if we did it again, Raquel and Kayla could win the finale. We could win the finale. You could just flip the coin every time. Um, right. But I'm blessed I got to see the world with my best buddy. Um, that, the main thing was let's go as long as we can, buddy, and just make up for lost time. Yeah, right. Well, let's go back to Corsica, if you don't mind. You guys are oh making cheese, trying to make some cheese, but we're seeing the other teams sort of coming and going faster. What was going on? What was your pot? What happened? So... I mean, if you watch the extras too, I'm, I, I have this in the bag. I've, I mean, I've convinced yeah. Lulu and Lala to do it as well. Ryan's like, oh, he's got it. He's got it. You know, I trust mm -hmm. him. Um, it was malfunctioning uh, equipment. Keeping a Bunsen burner lit in a forest is very hard. Um, and I just underestimated it. And I'm a lunatic. I'm running around back and forth. And it's just not the procedure when you're trying to do something as intricate and delicate as making cheese. And so I probably should have just let Ryan take over mm -hmm. right away, um, mm -hmm. but I didn't. And so it was our first stumble. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, you know, it set us back and put us in the second group for the rest of the race at this point, you know? And yeah. so being behind Penn and Kim or Kel and Kayla is never fun. I have to live with the dread every night waiting to race. Are they going to U-turn us? And so mm -hmm. not only do we've ruined everything and set ourselves yeah. in the second group, now we have to deal with days of anticipation of being U-turned. Um, right. And, you know, we're we're so close this cast with everything we've been through, but at the same time, I would do it to them. It, you know, it's a race oh, and yeah. it's for a million bucks. And so I, you know, I understood I wasn't going to like it. Um, it weighed on Ryan and I a lot, but like I said, at the end of the episode, um, it was our best leg up to this point, in my opinion, mm -hmm. maybe not a W, but resiliency, our mm -hmm. friendship and just sticking together, man. It like, it let me know that we really have a shot at this. Um, and yeah. so game changer, big stumble, but a building, block in the same time right well then in Greece I mean turning rocks over for two and a half hours is going to destroy just about anyone was this the hardest moment of the race by far um the rocks it's it haunts me I mean literally to this day I, when I got home I you know I'm talking with my wife and just that that I just compartmentalized it afterwards and kind of just put it away. And when I got home, I sobbed for like hours and just decompressing everything. Um, it was a blessing and a curse at the same time. Uh, it was miserable. It put me in a very dark place. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it gave me an opportunity and Ryan an opportunity to like calm me down and bring me up there and take in a view. Um, it was a very beautiful moment. Sombering. Uh, it. I was very worried. I, I was worried the whole time for this episode. I've been dreading this mm. just because I didn't know how I was going to be portrayed. And, you know, I have a one-year-old son now. I was just so scared of like, what could be, but I think it's a, it's, it was the most beautiful thing ever. And uh, the outreach I've had, the support, um, so many people are like, you know, I've dealt with anger issues. It's amazing that, you know, something I was so scared of gave a voice to a lot of people. And it's, yeah. it's been such an amazing experience. And just the people that have reached out, it's, uh, it's truly, I'm like about to cry. <laughs> Well, I, yeah, I was going to say, I mean, I've struggled with anger issues too. It's really, it was lovely to see you talk about that and to see you stop it and to work through it. However, you had to process that. And then it looked like you were a bit chiller in the next legs. Did you make a change? You know, uh, something Ryan and I talked about after coming in last, uh, and being saved is at this point, you know, I was like, Ryan, this is house money now, dude. Like, mm -hmm. I think at the beginning of the race, the first few legs, we're doing well, one and two finishes. Uh, I'll be honest with you, in our mind, I'm, I'm thinking like, man, maybe we're the greatest, amazing race yeah. team ever. We can run through this whole thing and have the best finish, you know, placement of all time. And uh, we may have got a little too big for our britches. So the cheese humbling us and bringing mm -hmm. us to earth, um, it wasn't ideal by any means. The rocks weren't ideal, but trials and tribulations, uh, we grew as people from it. Um, I especially grew from this. And I'm just so blessed that Ryan asked me to do this with him and, uh, you know, trusted me to run around the world with him. And uh, his dad would have been the one to do it if there wasn't an injury. So I love you too, Bill. I hope I made you proud, man, because Bill is a superhero. He is the definition of a superhero. No, so, that's so nice to hear. Well, moving through the legs here, you guys picked up a door to paint that apparently was the only one with the doorknob included in the painting. Was this just an unlucky choice? You know, it's unbelievable. Like watching it, I, I noticed Arun and Natalia's doorknob was on the side and not painted. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so there's a doorknob gate starting to uh, circulate <laughs> on Twitter and thing. You know, I'll be honest with you. I didn't even notice like it, rewatching it. I, it was Ryan said it the best. But we're panicking. I mean, I'm like mm-hmm. Arun and Natalia. Now they're caught up. They were stuck in a boat. Arun was for hours rowing mm-hmm. that thing in a circle. So I'm like, how in the hell have we squandered this away again? And it's another thing where I'm very confident. I love art. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like everything I thought I was going to be good at. The amazing race <laughs> my throat out. And so it was nice for Ryan to say, we need to step back, look at the micro, not the macro on this, Dusty. Mm-hmm. And immediately he was like, oh, it's the doorknob. And I, they didn't say show this, but I screamed, oh, shit, it's the doorknob. <laughs> and Ryan's like, be quiet, be quiet. They're going to hear you. And uh, what a humbling experience. I'm like, who paints a doorknob? It's insane. Yeah. And, and at that point, we've seen other teams leave without painting their doorknobs. I, I was confused. Didn't make sense to me either. I, I mean, I was, you saw that we had nine checks. I would literally touch up one little spot, check, <laughs> fix another one, check. I'm yeah. to the point where I'm like, Ryan, maybe it's just time we need to go home. <laughs> no, your you door know. was like the most beautifully painted because you got it back. I mean, it was so good. <laughs> So and I was like, times. there's no way they're judging us on artistic ability, ability, right. like no one is going to paint a door perfectly. I'm like, what could it be? But thank goodness for Ryan. When these situations arise where things are going bad, he's the guy that can, he's just calm and you know, you need yeah, that. And we balance each other well, but it, he's the, just the perfect specimen to run with someone like me. Uh, I think Penn and yeah. Kim said it the best. Dusty is a roller coaster. Ryan's a straight line. Yeah, you guys really had some beautiful balance. I mean, you, we talked all season about how you pumped you up. Like you guys, you were like, Ryan's the best, let's go. Like you're so supportive like that. And then Ryan could really calm you guys and get you focused. You really, you did have a great balance. You need that on the amazing race. And you, if you look at the teams that's, now there's probably not anyone on the show that wears their emotions on the sleeve quite like me. Um, but when you get to know Penn and Kim, Raquel and Kayla, mm-hmm. it's very yin and yang on every team. Um, you need balance between your partners. And so many people are like, what does it take to be great at the amazing race? It's having a partner that you can trust and that you can communicate with communication. in this mm-hmm. is the most important thing. And I think you saw the teams that kept it together. No, you know, kind of me <laughs> with Ryan, um, you know, that it leads to success. And so mm-hmm. I'm just so blessed to have someone like him in my life. And he's been through so much. How can you not listen to the guy? I mean, right. Like right. anything he says, I'm listening hardcore. Yeah. So this final leg, you guys are on a rooftop <sighs> trying to spot a, a combination going up and down. Was there anything that could have been done differently? What was the secret here? Uh, like honestly, when the leg started, our our game plan, our motto, Ryan and I's were one run seventy percent. Um, mm-hmm. You know, calm, cool, collect, and I think that's more mm-hmm. directed to me from Ryan. <laughs> He's like, you just got to slow down a bit. Um, and it was just eat an elephant one bite at a time. Uh, it went to hell in a handbasket right out of the gate. If you watch, we're the first people to find the clue box or the lockbox. Um, we're looking out over rooftops. I'm looking at every single number. I see a number mm-hmm. ten, and so the number ten twenty five will haunt me. For the rest of my days because after the elevators we crush the leg i mean we yeah. are we do everything faster than everyone in my opinion you get to see time I mean, we ran a hell of a leg it's just against pin helen kayla if you make one mistake you're toast and we got right. the opportunity to start at the same time that was our biggest fear the whole time being behind them we did what was needed to that needed to be done we just didn't capitalize they did and uh they're just such good competitors and i you know if they ever made a season where they take the top three teams and pit them against other seasons i'd feel very confident in our crew um right i agree and i wanted to run against the best and i ran against the best and uh pin and kim i love you guys man you you're beasts <laughs> it's crazy yeah. yeah this was a really great final three well this season was so unique with the shutdown a uh, complete reset. What was that like? You guys were obviously racing a great game at the top and then had to just wait 19 months. Yeah. It, I mean, unprecedented. And I, uh, I know a lot of people went through a lot of things over those 19 months. Uh, I had a baby, a major surgery. I moved across the country. My wife mm-hmm. took a new job. I took a new job. Uh, my father passed away. I mean, it was a whirlwind. And I'll be honest with you after, you know, you, you're 19 months into this, I'm like, this probably isn't going to happen again. Uh, I don't right. see COVID up. 
and it was the perfect storm. It worked out well. And uh, getting that call to know we're getting a crack at this again was life changing um, because we were running great. And I was like, Ryan, we're going to win this thing, man. Um, mm -hmm. And I just wanted to get the rest of the experience with him. You don't get to do these kind of things with your friends. And so especially with Ryan, it was a great opportunity to make up for lost time. And I'm just so blessed I got to do it with him. And he picked yeah. me because he was there anything that you guys prepared for that you didn't get to use? Uh, you know, I watched all the videos. I've listened to a lot of podcasts. Will and James, I look up to quite a bit. Uh, they're studs. Uh, you know, I'd walk around here and there with a wine bottle on my head. Um, it was a lot of memory, memory challenges for me working on that. And physically, uh, I lost 25 pounds from the first three episodes to the second. And so losing my father, I lost my grandfather early to heart issues. And then having a son, I've always been a pretty healthy person. Um, it just really kicked it into overdrive for me. You know, I want to be around. I don't want my son to not have a father and I don't want to die at, you know, 60 years old, like everyone in my family. And so that was very important, but just mentally Ryan and I shared notes every single day, um, countries flag, same thing everyone's doing. It just mm -hmm. ingrained it into me. And it was beautiful leaving Missouri to Colorado and starting a new business, I kind of walked away from insurance for a while. So it really gave me ample time to focus on this. And I mean, I turned it into a full-time job and I'm just very lucky. My wife is a uh, fantastic and can be a breadwinner, take care of me and give me the opportunity to train for something like this. Uh, we put the work in. I mean, I think mm -hmm. it showed we didn't get what we wanted, but we made it to the end. Oh yeah, absolutely. So you, you've talked a lot about the great team that you guys were is that the highlight or was there a great leg, a challenge that you loved? What was your favorite part? I mean, by far the time spent with Ryan means more to me than anything on the race. Um, the bungee jump, uh, <laughs> not my thing. And so to <laughs> get, uh, if Ryan and I, if we, the first few roadblocks, we probably should have done them oppositely. I should have done the hike in Switzerland. He should have done the bungee jump. That's what we wanted. But That'll always stick out to me for overcoming that. Uh, the conversation had, I mean, if everyone knew, well, you're seeing this damn driving and I know Kim is terrified. Mm -hmm. I'm terrified. I'm so glad that I won the paper, rock, scissors so I could get it over <laughs> with. For, I was so scared to watch her do it than me have to do it. That really stands out. But honestly, the leg in Corsica coming back, uh, I think the emotion shown on the beach, like rewatching that, um, I'm not like, I, I feel like people are like, this guy's cock. It's just, I'm a very emotional guy. And you know, mm -hmm. you see it on the show when I'm down, it's bad. But when I'm winning, I like to have a good time. I mean, this, the race is crazy, man. It just puts you in a pressure cooker and it's about surviving. It's not even like excitement. It's relief. <laughs> you know, I made it. We're here still. Right. But that really sticks out to me as well. Overcoming that and getting to stay in the dance with Ryan. It was fun. And, you know, I think there's all kinds of funny quotes and Ryan's calves are pretty great too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, multiple memorable things, but spending time with him, man, and getting to make up, you know, we all have, I have a family now he's starting new careers and things. And so to take 30 days, it really was an opportunity to make up for 10 lost years of our friendship, mm -hmm. especially in our twenties when we would have done all these crazy things anyways. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dusty. It was truly fun to watch you guys race. Sarah, it's my pleasure chatting with you. Uh, and I'm just so blessed. I love everything that you guys do too. It's amazing. Keep it, keep it up. Thank you.